Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a dicky dress for toddlers. So first, of course, you're going to open the me and dicky shirt. And you're going to fold it in half because we're going to be cutting on a fold. Next, I'm going to be taking a 3 t shirt and skirt. And I'm going to be using the shirt and skirt as my pattern. So I'm just going to place it right on top of the dicky shirt. So drafting a pattern from scratch is a process. If you do prefer to do it that way, like if you don't mind drafting your old patterns, that's completely fine. But the easiest way for me is to find a shirt and skirt the size that you're making and just basically trace around it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to be leaving around one inch for seam allowance. As y'all can tell, I'm struggling trying to cut this. Make sure y'all invest in some good scissors because this should not take this long to cut. But I couldn't find my good one, so I just had to work with what I had. But definitely make sure you have some good scissors. Okay, so now that I have it all cut out, this is how it looks when you open it. And I'm going to be taking it inside out to sew it. You always want to sew right sides together. So right now, I'm just lining it up, making sure everything is evenly put together. I did not use pins this time because I was kind of in a rush. But I definitely do recommend pins, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, now that I have it straightened, I'm going to sew down the side, just like I'm showing. This is the side, and I'm going to be using a straight stitch. Always make sure you back stitch first before sewing. Also, if y'all notice, my waist part is not brought in as much as it could be. So when you cut, try to bring in the waist a little bit just to give it like that snatch look. You don't want the waist to look baggy. Okay, so now that it's all so I'm going to cut the thread and also I'm going to cut off all of the excess fabric. So this is how it should look. So you have one side complete and the other side is still open. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew the straight stitch down this side as well. Once again, I'm just making sure it's lined up evenly because I did not use pins for this project. So yes, definitely use pins y'all. Okay, now that it's all so I am going to be cutting off all of my excess thread. That's another big thing. Make sure any loose thread you see, you just want to go ahead and cut it. And now I'm going to be turning it inside out just to show y'all how it looks. But we're not done yet. Okay, so it looks good, but now it's time to clean up the rough edges, as you can see. So, basically, you have to fold and sew to give it that clean look. And I'm also cutting off the excess fabric from the side seams. So, I'm going to start with my sleeves. As y'all can see, the edges look so rough. You basically just want to take it inside out, fold it, and then sew a straight stitch. Thank you. 
And I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with the other sleeve. So this is the difference. As y'all can see, it is a big difference. And also this keeps the fabric from fraying. As y'all can see, this fabric on this side is already fraying. So this is a major step. Like you have to make sure you do this. And this is the bottom of the dress. This is the last step. As y'all can see, it look raggedy. I'm just going to be repeating the exact same steps. Just fold it and then sew with the straight stitch. Always, always, always make sure you back stitch. And this is how it looks. As y'all can see, it is a big difference. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And let me know what y'all want to see next. Thank y'all for tuning in.